So I would like to welcome once again uh, our guest speaker for today's IRF uh, webinar discussion, Dr. Heba Rauf Azad, uh, quite far away from Istanbul. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Dr. Heba Rauf. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much. Nice to hear from you again. Um, uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So I'm sure as everyone here at the attendees um, of our uh, IRF webinar session today are uh, aware on the topic that we'll be exploring further uh, this time. The topic is, is COVID-19 pandemic strengthening authoritarianism uh, in, the, in the Arab states? Um, I'm sure those who have already been engaging with us in previous sessions could sense a bit difference compared to our previous discussion, uh, which is a lot more covering the discussion within the setting of Malaysia um, and also something which is a bit more global. We've discussed about the, uh, the topic on COVID-19, its effect on democracy, on the rule of law, freedom of religion. Um, and last week, uh, we had uh, Dr. Azhar Ibrahim from National University in Singapore and also Dr. Fauzi from University Science Malaysia discussing the impact of COVID-19 towards practices and um, happenings related to uh, xenophobia uh, throughout the world. And for this time, our focus is going to be more in the Arab state. Um, first of all, some uh, the discussion about authorit authoritarianism in the Arab state itself is not definitely uh, something of a new topic. A lot of it is being covered by uh, a lot of several uh, discussions. Um, it's just one interesting point to note uh, during the face of COVID-19, discussions about um, increasing authoritarian state is not something which is only being looked into uh, in the Arab states anymore. It's already been seen as an uh, global concern in a lot of countries. In some parts, it's quite understandable uh, due to the fact that increasing regulation on um, health and on public health and uh, um, securities within countries, a lot of nations have tend to have more further regulations on their borders uh, for, or to uh, decrease or to limit um, potentials of um, the spread uh, of the COVID-19 itself. But <clears throat> still, um, looking into the situation in uh, the Arab states, Arab countries are not being seen, at least at the moment, to be the most re the re to be re the region which are most affected compared to other parts uh, of the world. But still looking into some points which I read earlier today, Saudi Arabia is the highest country with um, uh, effect, uh, affected due to the pandemic with up to now more than 200,000 cases already been recorded. Um, and I think we've also we are also quite aware of the situation. How does it relates to uh, either Umrah or Hajj uh, in Mecca and Medina has also been very much affected as well. Um, and and moving into uh, that particular point uh, on how much the situation of COVID nineteen pandemic is actually uh, strengthening the situation of authoritarianism. That is when we are going to get further feedback from our guest speaker, Dr. Heba Rauf, today. Um, I would like to just give a brief uh, introduction of Dr. Heba uh, uh, Rauf. Um, Dr. Heba Rauf Izzat, uh, she earned her uh, bachelor's MA and PhD in political science from Cairo University. She was a teaching staff and faculty member from 1987 to 2017 before she moved to Istanbul, Turkey to work as an assistant professor at Ibn Haldun University. Uh, Dr. Heba, uh, she teaches political theory and urban politics as well as Middle East studies. She was um, during her career a visiting fellow at many universities worldwide, including Oxford, Berkeley, uh, Georgetown, Maastricht, and London School of Economics. Um, Dr. Heba is a widely published in both English and Arabic on subjects related to Islam, women and politics as well as on citizenship, global democracy, global civil society and Islamic epistemology. Her publications include the following books, The Political Imaginations of Islamists and Towards a New Civility in 2015 and more recently Islam, the Human Self and the Universe and People of the South, a sociological study of Halayb and the Shalatin area. So I would like to welcome uh, Dr. Heba again to our talk and I would like to invite Dr. Heba to uh, proceed with some of the key points of the discussion. 